Once you've set up your NMR residues, it's time to peek pick your 3D spectra. So I'm just going to select my 3D spectra and drag them over here to create a new module for them to be displayed in. Now, there are several ways in which you could peek pick your 3D spectra. One would be to go to Spectrum, Pick Peaks, and Pick ND Peaks, or you could type PP for short. This would allow you to select a peak list and then an area in which you want to pick peaks, either positive peaks, negative or both. The problem with this approach is that it will just pick a huge great area and it could peak pick a whole load of noise peaks or artifact peaks and you'd probably end up with um, quite messy peak lists. You also won't be transferring all the NMR atom assignments that you've made in your uh, HSQC or base spectrum into the 3D peak list. So a better way is to use our pick and assign module. Go to assign and then pick and assign or type PA for short. Here start by going to the settings menu by clicking on the gear icon. Then pick peaks in display, select your 3D display and you will see then that you get this little table. We don't need to make any changes to this at the moment, but if at a later stage you would want to change the tolerances with which your peaks are picked, then you could do that here. Now I select the NMR chain in which I have all my NMR residues, and I'm gonna place this module just here underneath my HSQC. It's also going to be useful to have the uh, NMR Atom Assigner open. So I'm going to open that. You can go to Assign and then NMR Atom Assigner or type AN for short. And then I'm going to place that over here. So now we're ready to start and we can do that simply by going to our Pick and Assign NMR Residue table and double clicking on the first one. And you can see that the displays have automatically navigated to the peaks belonging to that NMR residue or to those positions. These now are our 3D uh, peaks and we can pick them using this restricted pick button. The next step is to transfer the HN atom assignments from the HSQC over to the 3D spectra. We can do this by clicking on assign selected. And then finally, we need to create NMR atoms for the carbon dimension of these peaks. Now, my blue spectrum you can see up here is the CBCA, CO and H. So based on the chemical shifts and the type of spectrum, I know that these peaks must be the belong to the C beta atom of the residue previous to the AT1 residue. So that's why I'm going to select down here in my NMR atom assigner C beta or CB I minus one. And now those NMR atoms have been added to those peaks. Then these this peak must belong to the C beta of the same residue. And then we can do the same down here for the C alpha atoms. And you can now see that the uh, NMR, the carbon NMR atoms have been added here in this table. And if you were to look on the sidebar, you can see that here too, I've got my additional CB and CA NMR atoms. You can also see that a new NMR residue has been created called at, um, at one minus one. And that basically is simply the residue that is previous to at one. The I minus one residue, and I've got the C beta and the C alpha and my atoms in there. Remember that when you are doing your peak picking, the peaks are picked based on the contour levels that are currently visible. So as you go through your strips, you may want to lower or raise your contour levels it may also be worth switching off the negative contour levels for some of the spectra where you're not expecting to see any negative peaks. So then it's time to move on to the next um, NMR residue. So 
if you double click, you can see here there don't seem to be any peaks. It could be worth going down with contour levels just to check that um, there isn't anything there. In fact, this is a tryptophan side chain, so we wouldn't really expect any peaks in our 3D spectra. So we can just move on to the next one. Now, rather than separately clicking on restricted peak and then assign selected, we can do all of that just in one go by clicking on restricted peak and assign. You can see here, this peak is just slightly off, so it hasn't picked it. So I can just pick it there by uh, clicking on shift and control or on the Mac, shift and command and then dragging a mouse and then assign selected to assign the H and N in our atoms. And then in the normal way, I can make my carbon assignments. Now, if I were to make a mistake here, of course, this is actually the I minus one C beta. I can either click on this again to remove it, or I could just click directly onto the C beta to make that correction. You will see that quite often selections are highlighted in green. That's just to help guide your eye, make suggestions for what this um, NMR atom could be. And then you can just proceed through the whole of your protein, restrict it, pick and assign, and then making your carbon atom assignments. And if you continue with that, then you will end up with a really nice uh, set of peak lists for your 3D spectra, which are clean and have all the um, NMR atom assignments that you need.